Xfinity Series, Gander Outdoor Truck Series, they continue the NASCAR 2020 schedule shakeup, and we'll look at it next here on Monday Morning Racer. <laughs> Hello race fans, Lee Craft here with the Monday Morning Racer. Soon we're going to be looking at the news from NASCAR concerning the Xfinity Series and the Gander Outdoor Truck Series, their schedules in 2020. Before that though, real quick, I want to give a shout out to McLeod917 on YouTube. He was the first person to comment on any video that I have posted on the Monday Morning Racer and for doing that, He's going to receive this Hot Wheels car. It is a Moon Eyes Camaro styled after Pro Stocks to some degree. Great looking car that I saw. I picked it up. And I picked it up not just for McLeod 197, though he is going to be the recipient of it, but I picked it up for the first person that would ever comment on the channel. That's why he's receiving it. Folks, want to hear from you. Feel free to comment on videos and start the dialogue, the discussion over motorsports. So, give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, and also share your opinion and thoughts. Now, let's turn to what NASCAR announced today for the Xfinity Series and the Gander Outdoor Truck Series with the overview of the shakeup concerning the 2020 schedule for both of those series. You have, as the highlights, Xfinity back to Martinsville, and they are back to Martinsville for the first time since 2006. Kevin Harvick won that race in 2006, and it is the first time in 25 years that they are going to run at Martinsville. And what it will make up is a triple header type of weekend for Martinsville Speedway, where they will have trucks, they will have Xfinity, and the Cup Series racing all on one weekend. For the trucks, they return to Richmond for the first time since 2005, and overall, on both schedules, you find that there are new playoff tracks in both series. They will both, all three in fact, including Cup, end at what we understand as Phoenix or ISM Raceway, but every series has different tracks within it and they all have a similar makeup in that there's a great mixture within the entire season, honestly, but definitely in the playoffs of your super speedways, of your short tracks, of your road courses, intermediate tracks, really giving a good toss-up for different skills and different abilities of teams and drivers to get that championship at the end of the year. So I'm looking forward to the races and the uh, competitive nature of Xfinity and trucks duking it out in their upcoming schedule in 2020. Let's take a full look at the schedule that Xfinity has and then we'll take a full look for the schedule that the trucks have in NASCAR for 2020. So, Xfinity Series, they start out at Daytona. They go on to Las Vegas, then they run Auto Club Speedway. They find themselves then in Phoenix at ISM Raceway. They go on to Atlanta, then Homestead, Miami. They travel out to Texas for Texas Motor Speedway. They then are in Tennessee for Bristol, out down to Alabama for Talladega. They're up to Delaware for Dover, and then they're in North Carolina for Charlotte, and then they are at Mid-Ohio for the first road course of the season. They find themselves racing then at Michigan. They go out to Iowa, a track that I wish Cup would take the time to go out to as well. It has a lot of character. It's larger than Richmond, but has, has a similar character to it as Richmond. Great racing happening out there in Iowa. And then they move on to Chicagoland. After Chicagoland, you find them participating in Cup's now famous or infamous doubleheader weekend that is planned. They are going to run on Sunday before Cup races. Then they are at an Indianapolis Motor Speedway, not Indianapolis Raceway Park, but the actual race where they run the Indy 500. Last year's event there I thought was a great Xfinity race. I'm looking forward to that race at Indy. 
Unlike Cup, I usually do not look forward to the Cup race at Indianapolis. Then they are on to Kentucky, New Hampshire, back to Iowa for another great race, I'm sure. They go to another road course, Road America, which is a great road course for sim racing. It's a great road course to watch actual racing, whether it is IMSA or the Xfinity Series. I love the racing at Road America. Then they go to one of my favorite road courses in all of the world, a track that I've actually been able to be on. Watkins Glen, it's on to Dover, then Daytona, and then they begin their playoffs. Their playoffs are Darlington, Richmond, Bristol, Las Vegas, the Charlotte Roval, Texas, Martinsville, and then they end the season at ISM Raceway. Phoenix. So, I'm looking forward to what Xfinity has. They have a great season lined up, it looks like, for 2020. A lot of different tracks in this schedule, and NASCAR is finally heating across Cup, Xfinity, and what we're about to look at with trucks to the fans of we want different tracks, we want different venues, we want more road courses, we want more short tracks. I am in love with what NASCAR has already done with Cup and now Xfinity, and now let's take a look at what the trucks have as a full season lineup. So, they start out at Daytona as well, on to Las Vegas, Atlanta, then Homestead, Miami. They're out in Texas. They'll go back to Richmond again for the first time since 2005. They race at Dover, Charlotte, Kansas, Texas. They go to Iowa as well. They are at Chicagoland. They're at Pocono. At Pocono, they will race Saturday. Then the Cups will race after them. And then they run at Kentucky. And then we have, in my opinion, one of the best NASCAR races of the entire year, whether it is Xfinity, whether it is NASCAR Cup, Eldora, it, to me, is the best race of the year in NASCAR's top three series. I have enjoyed all the racing action they have had at Adora with the trucks, and most of the time, it's one of those races when the schedule is dropped, I'm scrolling ahead on my phone and setting the calendar for the reminder to catch this race at Eldora. So, my hat off to Tony Stewart and the crew at Eldora and NASCAR for the trucks going there. I have loved the racing at Eldora with the Gander Outdoor Truck Series, and I hope you have as well. Let's move further in the schedule. So, you have then after Eldora, Michigan, then they go on to Gateway. Gateway, another great track that I wish Cup would visit in the future. Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, another great venue up to Canada, and those fans, they love that race, and it has produced some awesome finishes. I remember one year you had two trucks banging on each other all the way to the finish. Chase Elliott was in a finish there one time that had some controversy. That track produces some great racing with these trucks. They are then on to Bristol, Las Vegas, Talladega, Martinsville, and then ISM Raceway finishing up their season, and they have a six-race playoff system for them. I think the Cup schedule for 2020, the Xfinity schedule for 2020, and this schedule for the Gander Outdoor Truck Series of 2020, they're great schedules. With what they've got to work with, and I know we're all expecting 2021 to be the big change and really be one of the best, if not the best, schedules for NASCAR, I think what they've done for 2020 is a great change and re-slotting of tracks with what they have to work with. I am looking forward to all of the racing action in NASCAR next year in the year 2020. If you would please give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, Monday Morning Racer, and until next time, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.